Oh no! Oh my god. and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another wardrobe clear out and guys, this is the last wardrobe clear out I will ever do in this room. And the reason that this is a big deal, if anyone's new, is because I do this pretty regularly. Um, probably every few months um, I do a video like this and purge my wardrobe. And this time is kind of a more significant one because this is like my clear out before I move. Like after this guys, I'm going to actually take some of my clothes to the flat and put them in the wardrobe. So it's kind of like extra exciting today and it's made me want to be like super ruthless. And I know I say that every single time and I'm usually not very ruthless. I just feel like I want to streamline my things a little bit and be a bit more selective over the things that I do take over to the flat and finally, finally actually let go of the things that I just never wear, even if I love them and think they're beautiful. Just a quick reminder before we start, most of you guys know that I do sell my old unwanted clothes on Depop, that is if I don't have a change of heart and my mum or sister don't want them. So I'll leave a link to my Depop page down below in the description box, but do also make sure you come and follow me on Instagram because that's when I notify you that the things are going live because they sell out really, really quickly. So I think let's just get on with it. I am a little bit nervous guys because you know I do get sentimentally attached to things and I also get nervous about getting rid of things in case I might need them in the future. So today is mainly going to be this wardrobe, which is my spring summer wardrobe because in the last clear out I did, we did my winter wardrobe and I feel like we can have a quick look through that today but mostly um, nothing's been added to it since the last clear out so um, I don't feel like that's going to be a big thing. It is mainly going to be this and as you can see it's just so so stuffed and I really just want to have a nice like clean wardrobe where I can actually see everything that I've got um, and this is just, it's just too much. So I'm going to empty it out and we will decide what to put back in. Okay, I've got my pile here and I feel like it might be a slow start because, oh no, oh my God. Okay, that was annoying. Um, as I was saying, I can't actually remember what I was saying now. Um, so let's just get started. The first thing is my pink and other stories jacket that's new this year and I love it so much. If anything, it's made me realize that if there's one thing I need in my wardrobe, like more of, it is nice like summery jackets. Um, so definitely keeping this. This one is also new. It's a gorgeous little um, cardigan, like sleeveless cardigan from River Island that's just really nice to throw over summery outfits if you just need to be a little bit warm. These are two of my beloved Zimmerman dresses, this gorgeous one that I wore for my birthday in Paris and this one that I got new this year. Absolutely love them both, so of course they're both staying. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a shocker and I'm actually feeling like I'm gonna cry about it a little bit. Basically, this is new. I've only worn it like once. It's a play suit from Mars that I got from the outnet during Cyber Week and it was so, so cheap where it was like really, really reduced. I got such a good deal and I do absolutely love it. It's beautiful, but for some reason, like around the hips, it just really doesn't flatter me at all. And it really breaks my heart, but I just think that I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna feel self-conscious and I'm going to get changed. And so for that reason, I just don't think I should hold on to it, which is such a shame. I'm obviously keeping this Zimmerman dress. It's one of my favorite dresses of all time and I just can't wait to wear it more this summer. Okay, next I have a bunch of my like white blouses and shirts. So this one is from Hollister. I've had this since before I even started my YouTube channel and you guys know I always hold on to it because it's such a classic. This one is my high priestess blouse from Zimmerman, which I love. Some people make fun of me for it, but I absolutely love it. It. And then I've got these two, which are pretty similar. This one's from And Other Stories and it's this kind of like taffeta fabric. And this one's actually from Fashion Nova and it's like a linen top. And I really love the little puffy sleeves and the gorgeous like way it ties at the back. So I think out of these two, I definitely prefer this. And I think if it was gonna be between the two, I would always go for this one. So I think I'll get rid of this. Two things cleared out. Okay, that's not actually a bad start. Okay, so then I have these two tops. This one I just got this year and I think it's really cool. It's from ASOS. It's like a linen-y kind of like really statement puff sleeve crop top and I think it's really really pretty. This one is from Topshop and I've had this a while and I have worn it a couple of times but I just don't think I'm going to wear this again. Um, I do think it's gorgeous, it really has like Victor and Rolf vibes um, but I just am being honest and I don't think I'm going to wear it again so 
I'm gonna say bye to this. Okay, I definitely think my pile got messed up when it fell on the floor because this is not my last blouse, but we'll come back to shirts and blouses. And this one I am gonna keep. It's my Zara like sheer puff sleeve dotty blouse that I think is really cool. It's just really unique. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna keep hold of this. Okay, so this bunch of dresses, these are all my like super duper casual dresses, the ones that I wouldn't even wear to like lunch or casual shopping. This is like my throw on on a hot day kind of dress. So the first one is this beautiful little blue floral dress from Hollister. This was from my online stylist's pick my outfits video. And the stylist Noelia from Estelistas um, who picked this for me just did such a good job on everything. And this is one of my like favorite things that she got me. This one is from ASOS and I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this because the last couple of times I've worn it, um, everyone around me, like my boyfriend and my sister and my parents have been like, oh my God, Freddie, do you know how short that dress is? And bearing in mind, all I wear is short things. So if they said that this is really short, then it must be really short. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe I'll get rid of this because I have a lot of other dresses that I can wear um, and I obviously don't want to expose myself. So even though I think it's adorable, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh my gosh, so this is my little Lem Lem dress that I got last year. It's literally the cutest, most flattering, adorable, beautiful beach dress I've ever had. I'm just obsessed with it. My gorgeous little floral Abercrombie dress. I love this, I've had this for so long, I can't get rid of it. This dress is also from Abercrombie and I really loved it in theory, but actually it fits really strange on me. And the last couple of times I've put it on um, just to like wear around the house even, I've been like, mm, this just doesn't like sit right on my body. So I'm definitely gonna get rid of this even though it's adorable. It's like a halter neck that's like cut out at the sides um but yeah it just doesn't look good on me and then finally is another little Hollister dress I love this one it's just like that crinkled fabric and it's got little tears um and it's just so pretty and easy to wear I think that's a really good selection for little like throw on dresses okay so now we're on to my like proper dresses things that I would actually wear as like a proper cute outfit um so yes first of all my free people dress that I just love so much oh my god it's so boho and I feel like it's quite different to anything else I have in my wardrobe so I'm keeping hold of this. Okay guys, these two dresses, I think I need your advice on because they're kind of a similar vibe and I don't feel like I need both. So this one is my little pretty woman dress from Zara that I have had for a really long time. And then this one, which I got last year, which is from And Other Stories. And this is more of like a denim dress um, and it has a different neckline as well. It has a kind of like sweetheart neckline. They're both um, quite puff sleeved and I do really like them both, but I don't feel like I need them both. Um, so do let me know which one you guys think I should keep because I really can't decide. Oh my god this dress guys I don't know what to do about this dress. I loved this more than anything at the time. This is like 2017 I think that I was wearing this dress a lot. It's from Topshop and it's the most gorgeous fabric and it's like this Dalmatian polka dot um, but I haven't worn it in so long and I'm just not sure I will but it is really unique and different and special so I just don't know if I should keep hold of it. This is the first dress for the maybe pile, guys. Okay, so next I have this dress, which is actually from Zimmerman. I also got this from the outlet during Cyber Week, the same time as the Marge play suit. So I paid like so little for this, um, considering it's a Zimmerman dress. And it is too big for me. It's the size up, or maybe even two sizes up. No, it's just one size up. Um, but I got it anyway because um, it was so like cheap for Zimmerman. And I thought that I could just have it taken in and tailored, but obviously I haven't gotten around to doing that. But I do think it is incredibly stunning. Like the pattern, the color is not something that I have in my wardrobe. So I do think this is worth holding on to, especially as I've gotten rid of the Marge play suit. Okay, a couple of little cute floral summer dresses. This is actually a play suit. This is from River Island. And I got this last summer. And although it's like so not me, I I mean, it's green and it's just not the kind of thing I usually wear. I love it so much and I wore it actually um, recently to the In The Heights screening and I just felt so nice in it. So I'm definitely keeping this and also this Abercrombie dress, which you guys may recognize from one of my recent videos. Um, I haven't had this for very long and I haven't had a chance to wear it and I think it's so, so pretty. So I'm holding on to that as well. There's always a lull guys, okay? There always is. My Lemon Co Ward, I'm obviously never going to get rid of, like literally as long as I live. I'm gonna be like 80 years old and still wearing my Lemon Co Ward because I love it so much. Much. And then this Topshop dress that I got last year that I actually tried on the other day um, because I kind of like forgot about it and I wanted to see if it was still cute and it's actually so 
so nice. Um, so I am gonna keep hold of this and hopefully get some wear out of it this summer. And then if I don't, maybe next summer I'll consider getting rid of it. But it's just so gorgeous, like the colors on it, like RIP Topshop, guys. I wish it was still there. Okay, so next I have this um, little gorgeous like lace um, two-piece from Free People. And honestly, guys, like this is so so gorgeous but it's another one of those things that, like when I have it on it just doesn't seem to sit right on me which is so so sad because it really is one of the most stunning things I think I've ever had like the detail on it is so beautiful but I always find myself taking it off afterwards because I just don't feel right in it so I think I'm just gonna have to make the hard decision and get rid of this because I just don't believe that I'll ever really wear it again. <laughs> oh, here are the rest of my blouses. Okay, so I actually love all of these. I don't think I'll get rid of any of these. I really love them. This one is from Miss Selfridge. This my followers actually bought for me for a fun video we did years and years and years ago. And it was such like a random top. I was like, I would never have picked that. And now I just love it all these years later. This one from Topshop last year. I just think it's really cool and different and worth holding on to because stuff like this, I feel like doesn't come around very often and I really like it. And then I have two of my favorite summer tops ever, both from Zara, this gorgeous like embroidered blouse, which I adore. And then this famous top that I wore constantly last summer from Zara again. I feel like it has a very Dolce & Gabbana vibe and I just love it. I love this top. Doing really well again. Okay, next I have this dress and I actually went to clear this out I think in the last video and then my mum convinced me to keep it. But I think I'm gonna stand my ground this time because I don't think I'm gonna wear it again. Honestly guys, I think I once said to you that this dress was like me in a dress. It just like epitomized my style and I just don't feel that way about it anymore. My style has changed and I don't think I'll go back. You know, we go forward, not backwards. So yeah, I think I'm gonna part with this because I think someone else will love this so much more. Than I do. A couple of summery play suits that I really, really love. Definitely not ready to get rid of these. This one is from Sophia the Label, and I got this um, for my last trip ever, like the last trip I have taken since everything um, to Marrakesh. And yeah, I just really hope that I can get more wear out of it because I think it's so, so cool. And then this one, of course, you guys know, is my famous Free People play suit, which is something like one of the oldest things in my wardrobe now. And I just can never get rid of it because it really is the most beautiful play suit. Like I tried it on again the other day and I was like, how is this still amazing? Like I go off things guys and I just have not gone off this at all. Okay, I'm not sure these dresses are in order. They're not really a category, but let's go through them anyway. Um, This dress is quite new. I got gifted this from Forever New and it's just so pretty. Like look at it, it's incredible. Like the fit and the color and the pattern and the sleeves and I haven't really had a chance to wear it yet. Um, so I must keep hold of this. This dress is new. I kept this from my Zara haul from haul week this year. I couldn't resist because I just thought it was like a really nice classic dress. Like this is something that I will have in my wardrobe for a long time because it's so classic, you know, a little white dress. Oh my God, guys. The And Other Stories pistachio green dress. I can't describe to you why I feel like I need to get rid of this. I did put it in the last clear out as well and then had second thoughts. But honestly, I just think when I look at everything else in my wardrobe, I just don't think this will end up making the cut when I choose my outfit for the day, if that makes sense. Um, and sometimes now when I look at it, it kind of like bugs me and I've just got it into my head now. And I think it needs to go, even though like I truly think this is a work of art. And when I got this, I was in love with it. I've kind of gone off it and I'd like to let somebody else enjoy it. <laughs> I'm being a motor mouth, I can't help it. I think it's because clear outs do genuinely make me nervous. I can't describe it. So this dress, I do not wear anymore. I do not think I will wear it anymore, but it kind of has sentimental value. I just don't think I can get rid of it yet. And I do actually have a lot more room in the flat than in here. So I think I can afford to keep a few sentimental bits. Yeah, this is from Zara. And the reason it's sentimental guys is because when my life was like changing, when I had a new relationship that was amazing and my YouTube was like taking off, it was just like this really amazing, exciting period of my life. And this is the dress that I wore like every day throughout it. So I don't know, it's kind of special. It's just from Zara, but um, it has it has a good vibe. I feel like if I keep it in my wardrobe, the good vibe will like rub off on all the other dresses. <laughs> okay, and the last two bits I have that aren't um, dressy clothes are these two like little cohorts. And this one is from Zara. It's actually really wearable. It kind of looks like it might be a bit over the top and unwearable, but I actually really like it. And this one I feel like is just iconic. I mean, I can't get rid of either of these. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> okay, so now we're on to my like more dressy clothes, my occasion wear. And my occasion wear collection used to be a lot faster than this. I had like half of this wardrobe all occasion wear and I've really condensed it. So the first one is this really fancy dress from River Island. I love the feathers. I literally love anything with feathers, but I think I've worn it once. It's not the most flattering dress, like at least on me. And I just think when another occasion comes and I have the choice between wearing this and the other white dress that's new from Zara, I'm gonna choose that. So I think I'll get rid of this now. <laughs> then we've got these two dresses. This is from Ted Baker. I've had this since I was like 18 or 19. And I just don't think I have the heart to get rid of this because it was my most prized possession literally and it really is gorgeous like who knows I may actually wear this again one day this Kate Spade dress however although it is stunning um it has really been on the brink in the last few clear outs and I think that is a sign and I also have to think to myself and I was thinking this earlier I was looking through um my depop of like all the things I've sold and I actually don't regret anything I've sold in the past so I think I just need to trust my decisions a bit better because I've never like made a bad decision so I think this dress has had its time with me it's had its chance I haven't worn it or enjoyed it so it really is beautiful someone else can love this okay now I have some skirts um this skirt again has been on the chopping block in the last few clear outs and it's just made the cut every time and I just think now once and for all I just need to say goodbye to it because I keep on holding on to it and then I never actually end up wearing it as I'm looking at it now I can so see why I keep wanting to keep it because it really is so pretty like the pattern is gorgeous and the color and everything but you know my outfits speak for themselves and this one never makes the cut so I think it has to go and then next I have these two very fancy skirts. I think by now you guys know both of these pretty well. This is the one that I wore to Victoria's Secret Fashion Show in 2018, the last ever Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Um, and I do love it, but it is pretty much too small for me. Even then I was like squeezing into it and it was really uncomfortable. So I am going to say goodbye to the feather skirt once and for all. Um, and then this skirt, I'm still gonna hold on to. Guys, you know, I've been holding on to this for literally years. Still haven't worn it, but I know one day I will. It's just so pretty and cool, and I just know one day there's gonna be an occasion that this is perfect for, and I'm just gonna be like, so happy I kept this skirt. Okay, so there's a few random bits here, like my Sister Jane play suit, which gives me such Gucci vibes. And I think, although it's not something that I wear obviously very often, I think I am gonna keep hold of it because I just think it's really cool. It's really unusual. Um, it's such a vibe. And sometimes maybe if I'm in a more of like a, I don't know, that kind of mood, like I would wear this. I just have a feeling about this that I shouldn't get rid of it. This Kate Spade dress, however, I have held on to over the years and the truth is I never wear it and I love the pattern so much. I think it's so cool. It's so like 60s vibes, but I think it's the shape of the dress, this kind of like pencil style dress and the kind of neckline. It just kind of gives me like office-y workwear vibes and it's just not very me. I would love it if this had like a skater skirt or it was a cute little like play suit or something like that, but it's just the shape of it is not very me and I don't find myself wearing it. So I think now's the time to get rid of this. And then I have two very beautiful dresses. This one is new, as you guys know, this is um, my new forever new dress that I bought um, in haul week this year. It's so stunning and honestly, it looks even better on than it does off. So um, definitely keeping hold of this. And then this dress I have had for so many years now. I think I got this in 2016. It's from a brand called Reclaimed Vintage and I don't know how I feel about this because I, when I look at it, I think it's gorgeous. When I see old pictures of me in it, I'm like, wow, that dress is so pretty, but I just haven't worn it in years. And I feel like there must be a reason that you end up like not reaching for things in your wardrobe anymore. So I'm kind of torn about this. Um, I feel like I don't want to let go of it, but at the same time, I'm not wearing it. So um, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and wait for your response. <laughs> and then a couple more random bits. Um, this is a really lovely nude satin slip dress that I wore for New Year's Eve in LA in 2019. And then I just keep another couple of like slip dresses on this hanger as well in case I ever wear something that needs a slip dress underneath. This is a really, really beautiful dress from ASOS that I bought a few years ago um, for the Maldives and I've only ever worn it in the Maldives. It kind of is more of like a holiday evening kind of dress, um, but it's so pretty. I just love those colors and the pleats. I'm not gonna get it out and show you um, 
so I am gonna keep it. Now this dress, I think I can probably get rid of this now. I think it was kind of one of those things that was a bit unusual for me and I liked it and I was like, I'll give it a try. I did wear it on a trip um, to Paris a few years ago, but I've never like even reached for it since. Um, so I'm not sure, it's from H&M. I love the color, this like champagne satin, but I think also the leopard print is kind of like, a bygone era for me now. It was kind of like a cool trend, but I'm not sure I like it anymore. So even though this dress is really cute, um, I don't think I'll wear it again. As you can see, I do color coordinate. Um, so next we have my beautiful little two piece from um, BCBG Max Azria. I got this in Palm Springs in the outlet with Josie, one of the trips of my lifetime. And I love this set so much. My Zimmerman play suit, the first ever Zimmerman piece I ever got, I think in 2016, no, 2017. Or was it 16? No, 17. I don't know. It's just one of those things that's really special. It's irreplaceable, I love it. And then this little blue Ted Baker dress, I think is something else that I'm gonna keep hold of um, out of sentimental value because it was just my prized possession along with the pink one. Like I just, could never get rid of this. It just like means a lot to me for some reason. I just loved it more than anything. I thought it was the most amazing dress I'd ever seen in my life. These bits, I just know I'm not gonna clear out because I just hold on to them. I don't have very much like in this color palette in my wardrobe. So I like to hold on to a couple of things just in case. I also really love this gold dress from Guess. It's not the kind of thing that I would usually go for, but I was kind of forced into it because I went on this guest trip and we had to pick all of these like guest outfits and I actually ended up really loving it. Um, and it's very flattering and it's just really nice. This is a really cool Rebecca Rhodes play suit. I've worn this to a couple of events and I always just feels so cool in it because it's so unusual. It's like this autumn leaf print and it looks so good with over the knee boots, very like 70s vibes. This Ted Baker dress is another thing that I feel like I keep out of sentimentality. Um, there's not many things left guys, so I think I'm allowed to have a few, but I just went through this phase in my life where I was obsessed with Ted Baker. I would save up like all my babysitting money to buy Ted Baker dresses and just wore them to death and just thought I was the most fashionable girl in the world. <laughs> I still think that. <laughs> and then this gorgeous little black lace play suit, which is another guest item that I had to pick out for the trip and ended up just falling in love with it. And I feel like it's a really good thing to have in your wardrobe um, in case there's ever an occasion for a black outfit. This is my, this is my one. <laughs> and then the last few things are all very dressy. And um, this is like a two piece set from H&M and it's this really lovely like pink tool set and it really is stunning but I just can't imagine where I would want to wear this to um, and even though I love it I did a little like photo shoot in this um, I just think I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't think like if I have a wedding or like a movie screening premiere I don't think I would wear this so it kind of is just taking up space and someone else can enjoy it. This dress is from Coast and I just got this at Christmas to film my Pandora um, Christmas video and I love it. I cannot wait for an occasion to wear this. I even have this little faux fur stole. It's so wintry chic. I'm just obsessed with it. So classic, so adorable. I just love it. Then I have this dress, which is um, a really beautiful like satin halter neck floor length gown that again, I just am not sure I'm ever going to wear. I've had it for a few years now and always admire how gorgeous it is, um, but I just don't ever seem to have the occasion to wear this. So I think now is it's time to go. And then finally, for the top half of this wardrobe, you guys know what's coming my prom dress <laughs> oh my prom dress it really is an icon they should display this in the vna i'm really tempted to try it on for you guys but i feel like it might be wasted in this video and maybe i should do like a whole video of like recreating my prom look um because i still have the shoes i still have the bracelet i still have my corsage although the flowers are obviously all dried up now i still have everything maybe during prom season next year i'll do a video like that but yeah this prom dress is just amazing and if i was going to prom this year i would still choose this dress a decade later look at the sparkly hem <laughs> i love you it smells of prom still my glory days so that's it for the top and it's still pretty full, but it was like bursting before. You could barely even like move the hangers around. So although it's pretty full, um, I feel like that is quite a good achievement. The clear out pile is quite big. I've cleared out like 
over 10 things, which is good for me. So now we're gonna do the bottom half. I haven't done this bit because I cleared it out like recently and um, I actually wear the stuff quite a lot. It's just a couple of jackets, but this is gonna be bad because you guys know I love my bottoms so much on my shorts and skirts and stuff, but let's give it a go anyway. So first of all, my Zara shorts, I wear these literally every day of my life almost. So they've got to stay. My new Zimmerman skirt, I haven't had this for very long, so I'm of course keeping that. Okay, this skirt, oh, well, I got this this year during haul week, and as I say, most of my decisions I make are good, sometimes I miss. And this skirt, I do actually really, really like it, that's not in dispute, but it's unlike the kind of fit that I normally wear. I normally like something that's high waist and really snug around the waist, and then a bit looser, like around the bum and thighs. Um, like these shorts, that's just what I like, I think it's what suits me and what flatters me. And this is very like tight, um, which does look nice, but I feel like you have to watch your stomach and it's a bit like, mm, it's not as comfy. Um, and I really have struggled to pair tops with this. Um, so for that reason, I think I'm just gonna be really, really strict and get rid of this skirt. Um, it does upset me a bit because I do really like it, but I think when it came down to it, I'd always choose one of my like nice pairs of shorts over the skirt. My ASOS skirt, you guys know, this is my favorite skirt. It's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe ever. This little um, frilly skirt is from um, Store Rats and I love it. I really, really love it, but it's too short for me. It's actually obscenely short. It's like wearing knickers. And the truth is I could never realistically wear this out of the house. So even though it really pains me because I think it's so gorgeous, I am gonna get rid of this. <laughs> More white shorts. You'd think I'd have enough, wouldn't you? But I actually love all of my white shorts and I wear them all for very separate occasions. My Zimmerman shorts, by the way, guys, are in the wash so that's why they're not in here so I do even have one more pair of white shorts um I just love my white shorts they're my summer staple these are my under the stories linen ones that are gorgeous these are my new um denim like mum shorts from ASOS that are really cool a bit more casual and these are the newest ones that were in my luxury essentials video last week they're from self-portrait so a bit more um expensive but look at them, they're fabulous. And they're all so, so different. It's literally just white bottoms, that's all I wear. Oh wait, here are some shorts that aren't white. Um, so these are my nudie, like cargo safari shorts from Topshop. I actually get a lot of wear out of these. They're the best thing to wear on those super casual, just like round the house days. Um, I really like them and I love the color as well. Then there's these two. So these are my pale pink faux leather shorts from Topshop. I've had these for years now, probably since 2018. Um, and I just have not gone off of them at all. These green shorts from And Other Stories are really, really nice. They fit really nice too. But honestly, guys, I just think I'm never gonna put these on and not want to change into one of my many pairs of white shorts because that's just my style. That's what I like. I like to wear all white with like a little touch of a color. And I just don't think I'll ever actually put these on and like keep them on and not change, even to these, like I prefer. So I think I'm gonna get rid of the green shorts which is a bit sad. I'll see, maybe they'll be in the maybe pile. I'll see how much room I have in the flats. I just love the neutral tones, it's so satisfying. And then the last few bottoms are bottoms that I just wear like really casually around the house, maybe when I fake tanned, because I don't really mind too much if they get a bit ruined. Um, so these Hollister shorts, they're just so comfy, so soft. This skirt from And Other Stories is the perfect thing to throw on in summer. Like even with this blouse, it looks really cool. And then these shorts from Topshop, maybe I could get rid of these. They're just a bit of an odd shape. I really like the color and I like the pinstripe and the kind of linen-y look, but they're just very long and they're very like droopy. Does that make sense? And they are quite baggy around my waist as well. Um, so I think I'll definitely keep hold of these two. But I am going to think about um, getting rid of these. And then finally, I just have a few little coordinating sets. I think I'll definitely not get rid of these. This one's from And Other Stories, and I just got this um, this year, and I love it. This is the H&M Little Wildflower collection um, shorts and top, and I love this. Like, the way it fits is incredible. And then this is my little ASOS brodery, like, jacket and short set, which I just think is really unusual. Like, I think I would regret 
if I got rid of this, definitely. Okay, so I'm not gonna um, go like fully through um, these wardrobes with you, this one here and the one behind me, because like I said, I've cleared them out recently, so um, there's not gonna be that much. But I'm just gonna have a quick look through now myself and see if there's anything I think I can get rid of and then I'll show you. Okay, so after a little look, there are a few things I feel like I can part with. The first of all being my Ted Baker coat. You guys know every clear out I consider getting rid of this and I carry on not wearing it and I just think it's time for it to go. I think when it's gone, I'll just forget about it and I really feel like it's it's time to go now. <laughs> these trousers, um, I actually got sent these from And Other Stories and I have a pair that I prefer, the ones you guys have seen me wear a few times from Bershka. Um, these kind of feel a bit more like lounge bottoms um, because they're quite thin, um, but I don't really think I would wear them for lounging, so I'm gonna get rid of these. And then a couple of my jumpers as well. This one from Hollister, I really do like it. I love the kind of ski um, style that it has, uh, but I just think I prefer my other jumpers so much more. I have a couple in there, like pink ones, that I love and I wear a lot um, and I don't think that I'll actually really wear this. And then finally this little jumper from And Other Stories. I really want to love this. On paper it ticks every box but in reality like when I put it on I just don't love it as much as I want to so I think now I just have to be brave and get rid of it. So guys I think we are done here um, and I do think I did quite well. The clear out pile is quite big. Um, I feel really satisfied with the amount of clothes that I have and I do have a lot more room obviously at the flat than here so it's going to feel like I have even less clothes when I get there and I'm quite pleased about that. I am going to miss these wardrobes from Sharps so much. They really have just been the best wardrobes. I've loved filming in front of them. Um, we might still have a couple more videos in front of them but this is definitely going to be one of the last which is a little bit sad um, but it's been the best, the best, best filming room. Um, and I'm gonna really miss it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you know when I'm uploading this stuff to my Depop, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.